Hello, everyone, and welcome to Saturday. Um, I got a good night's rest. Uh, eight and a half hours is what it said I got. And I was like, oh, that's good. I woke up a few times in the middle of the night, but, you know, otherwise I, I got the sleep. And I was like, that's nice. I got up. Um, I had some food. And I was just kind of sitting on the couch. Um, Alex was streaming on the Golden VCR channel, uh, Twitch channel, so I was watching that a little bit. And then uh, I was like, all right, you know, I uh, I normally don't do much on Saturdays. So it's like, but I'm, I want to work today because I I need to do some things. But I was like, before I do that, I'll do my physical therapy. Because I did not do it the last two days. I haven't done it Thursday or Friday because I was busy with everything, holidays and traveling. So I laid down to start doing it, and I could do 10 minutes. That's it. After 10 minutes of doing the stuff, I was so exhausted. I mean, I felt like I was just going to collapse on the floor. And that's bad. Um, so I was like, I'm, I'm just going to go lay down. So here I am. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to take a nap. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> I do not like that at all. Um, I just, I don't know why. I don't, I, I'm still bewildered. Like, am I, is my body continuing to try and fight off getting sick? Is that what this is? Am I, you know, cause I've continued to be tired, you know, is, is that what, is that what's going on? Am I just like, my body is, is making sure that it doesn't get any worse. Like, I don't know. I still haven't had any other symptoms, but the exhaustion is just immense. And, uh, I, I don't know. I have work to do and I will do it, but I'm just going to lay down for a little bit and see if when I get up, things are easier. This is a pain. I first exp I first felt this on Monday and it's now Saturday. And I've been getting pretty good sleep, so I don't think it's sleep. I just, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to take a nap. Holy cow. That was a nap. I slept for 90 minutes, and um, I woke up from a dream, and I had to pee. But when I woke up, my entire body felt like a sack of potatoes. Like, every part of me felt like it weighed a 1,000 pounds, and I was just so tired and and weak feeling so I woke up and I'm like oh my god I'm laying in bed and I'm just like ah and I knew I needed to get up because I had to go to the bathroom but the the process of getting out of the bed and getting into the bathroom was a struggle because I was like oh like I was moving in slow motion I went to the bathroom Came back to bed and was like, I just feel like I would pass out again if I laid down. So I did. And I slept 45 more minutes. And then I woke up and I was completely fine. Felt good. Felt rested. Felt like everything was fine. <laughs> yeah. Then I got a few things done. And uh, then it was time to deal with another thing. And uh, in order to talk about... This thing, I have to give a, just a little bit of context. Um, I've had a problem in the loft for, I guess, ever since we've, we've moved here. And to be honest, it's been a problem longer than that. But it's something that I, I have wanted to solve and recently decided I would solve. So here's the tech explanation of that. When we do video games in the loft, when we're streaming a game, we run the... Uh, video game console, like the Switch, into a capture card that's in the computer. Now, most capture cards have an input as well as an output, sometimes called pass-through. And the idea of that is that, you know, the console's getting hooked up to the, the computer, but also there's a separate line that goes straight to the TV that, like, bypasses the computer stuff. So it doesn't have to process anything. It allows you to play on your TV with, like, no latency, because the capture card's not doing anything to that specific output. The capture card that we use doesn't have pass-through. It, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have any outputs, it doesn't have pass-through, but it does have four inputs. So it's like a specialty card, and uh, you know, if it had pass-through, that'd be great. 
but it doesn't. Sometimes this doesn't matter because you can take what you see in software like OBS and put it on your TV, but it does add like a little bit of latency. It's probably not a huge deal unless you're playing something like maybe a fighting game or like a, a, pre a precision platforming game or something like that, but it, it's there. And the way that I combat this, since I don't have pass-through on my capture card, is I split it. I split the HDMI signal as it leaves the switch. So then I end up with two HDMI signals, one that I can send to the capture card and one that I can send to the TV. And basically by doing this, I create my own pass-through. And HDMI splitters are super cheap, so it's a really good way of doing that. The issue, though, is that whenever we're doing a stream and we have alerts playing, all of that audio comes out of the television. The television are my computer speakers, basically. And in order to hear that, we have to be on the HDMI input that is set to the computer. But when we switch over to the HDMI input for the game, I can no longer hear the computer. Most of the time, this is fine, because if you've been to one of our gaming streams, you'll know that we tend to do, like, some game, and then we take a break and switch over to, like, reading alerts and things like that. And when you're switching back and forth, that's okay. But as soon as you want to play a game and hear alerts at the same time, then it becomes an issue. And um, there's a few little workarounds I've had over the years to do this, but what I've really needed to do is I've needed to get some sort of audio device, a speaker, a soundbar, something, in order to just have the computer hooked up to that at all times, and then use the TV for the game audio. That way, no matter what we're doing, I'll always be able to hear alert audio, and um, it won't matter what input I'm on. So I was thinking about this the other day, and, and how best to solve this, and I even came up with some extremely complicated solutions that would involve merging the HDMI audio from both sources. And that, that's stupid, don't do that. Um, but after thinking on it for a while, I concluded that, yeah, a soundbar would be a, a proper fix, but instead of just getting another cheap soundbar, what if I spent just a little bit more and replaced the audio setup in our living room? Because we have a soundbar here in the living room. It's a Vizio. We've had it for a year or so. And it's been nice. It's certainly been a huge upgrade over the, the audio that comes out of the TV. Uh, and it was a cheap thing. It wasn't very expensive. But I was thinking I could put that one into the loft, which would meet, exceed the needs really in the loft that I, that I have. And then I could get something new for the living room, which is where we consume media. So this worked out really well because it coincided with this week with Black Friday uh, so there was a deal, and I found a soundbar that came with satellite speakers for uh, a really good deal. And I was like, this is, this is wonderful. And it's a Samsung soundbar. And I was like, we have a Samsung TV, so this will like work perfectly, seamlessly. It didn't. <laughs> it was a trial. And it was a trial because when I hooked it up, it worked, and I was like, oh, great. And then I, like, fiddled with a few things, and then it just stopped. And shortly, I realized that when I would turn the power off on the television, it just forgot that the soundbar was there. Like, it wasn't in the, in the audio output options anymore. And I would have to power cycle the TV by pulling out the, the power cable and waiting in order for it to be like, oh, there's a soundbar there. Long story short, it's taken several hours, but I think I have things working successfully now. And um, I'm hopeful that this will be like <laughs> an improvement over everything. It'll fix the issue in the loft and it'll also be something new here in the living room because it gives us surround sound. We've never had surround sound before. That is something new. This uh, sound bar came with the satellite speakers, which are placed back here. And then also there's one over there. And uh, I, <laughs> I could not get it to work through the television. So if I had like an HDMI device hooked into the TV, and then it goes through the TV and then comes out the sound bar, surround sound like would not work. 
just wouldn't work. And uh, I was trying everything and I was losing my mind. And then eventually I just plugged the, because we use all, we do all of our like media stuff on the Apple TV. I plugged the Apple TV directly into the sound bar because the sound bar has an HDMI input and then it worked immediately. And I was like, oh, okay. So my current plan is to just leave that plugged in there um, since we're, if we're watching something, it's going to be on the Apple TV. The game consoles are still plugged into the TV, which means they won't have surround sound, but um, we've never had surround sound before, so it's not like a, <laughs> a big deal. And, I, and the other thing is if I want to solve that, I can, because I could buy a, um, an HDMI switcher where you get like multiple inputs and I could just run the switcher into the sound bar. And then if I ever had anything to hook up, I would hook it up into the, into the switcher. So yeah, we now have surround sound and that's neat. And this was not a very expensive setup. Um, sound equipment like runs the gamut, man. Like you can spend well over a thousand dollars on getting everything outfitted. You could probably spend a ton more actually. Um, but this is a pretty budget option for allowing us to have access to surround sound. I've never had that before and it's, it's neat. I tested it out a little bit and it's working because there's some, some like YouTube videos where they'll, they'll, they'll put audio just into a specific channel. So they'll be like, this is the left, this is the right, this is the rear left, this is the rear right. So it's working. And uh, I loaded up a movie uh, on Netflix, like a more modern, I, I loaded up um, whatever the new Spider-Man movie is, the comic book one, uh, Across the Universe, Spider-Verse, I don't know. Uh, I loaded that up because I was like, that'll probably have some surround sound stuff. And it did. And it, sound, it sounded really good. It, good. It's a really immersive thing. The only downside to having the audio everywhere is that this is a big room. It's a little cavernous and the floors are wooden. So the sound bounces a lot, but is it an improvement over what we had? Yeah. And it's neat. It's, it's a pretty neat thing. And, uh, I would have solved this problem in the loft by just getting a sound bar, but by spending just like a little bit more, not only do I solve the problem in the loft, but like I get a new thing in the living room and that's cool. That's pretty neat. I'm now very much looking forward to our next, um, you know, movie day, movie Saturday or whatever. We didn't do it today because Josh is out of town. Um, me and Mao and Brandon and Dan were, have been tired from traveling and Alex and Haley are still sick. Uh, but maybe next week we could do that. That'd be really fun. And it's, it's cool that we have this stuff. We're going to get like maybe a different thing to set these on. Like that table's not that bad, but that's just like a laptop stand. So maybe we'll come up with a new solution and try and hide the cable or something. Anyway, neat. That's that's my my Black Friday purchase. So I'm curious if any of you got any anything cool or any good deals on, on Black Friday or, or Cyber Monday. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I continue to be bewildered by why I'm like sometimes fine and sometimes super tired. But... Um, as I go into next week, I, I hope I'll start feeling better. I got my fingers crossed. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?